Hi, it's Risa again. Today I'm here to share with you some of our resources that we've used over the years. Right now it is June of 2018. We're finishing our 10th year of homeschooling and we have consistently tried different companies products um, each year just to add a little bit of depth and different perspectives to our education and that's one of the things that I really enjoy about teaching at home. So I've compiled five different things from different companies. Um, they're not necessarily my top five, but five that maybe you haven't heard of and that would, you would like to investigate. One of the biggest things I'd like to encourage you with is that although you can do anything when you homeschool, you can't do everything when you homeschool. Um, actually, that applies to all of life. We can do a lot of different things and, and we should enjoy that freedom, but try not to get overwhelmed with the fact that you can't fit it all in because a lot of times that's what I've tried to do and it ends up at a train wreck. So um, let me share. These are five different companies and I have a variety of things here on my desk. My video camera here shows everything in a mirror image to you so the words on the um, on the products are going to look backwards. But um, we'll start with these two CD-ROM um, or slash DVD uses or resources. Um, these are from compassclassroom.com and they have a variety of different courses available, um, mostly for I would say middle school up through high school. So it might not be best for those of you starting out, but this is Visual Latin. This is a um, DVD based Latin program taught by Dwayne Thomas who is very funny and very entertaining and the kids and I did this together in the middle school years and really liked it. And then I also have the same teacher, Dwayne Thompson, uh, is that right? Dwayne Thomas, sorry. Um, his Word Up Vocab Show DVD. And we use this in conjunction with Quizlet.com, which is a great resource for a lot of different programs. And um, these were just really fun, different types of things to try. And they have a lot of streaming online resources. So that, again, is Compass Classroom. Um, for math, we're going to talk about teaching textbooks. You probably have heard of that if you've been in the homeschool community very long. They start with Math 3, which is appropriate sometimes for second grade, sometimes third grade starting. And it's also a CD-ROM based curriculum. does the lecture and grading and problems and everything all together on your computer. They've now moved up to their 3.0 version for all of their courses, which allows you just to access it online, which is far better in my opinion because you never know when someone's going to be like, I can't find my disc because there's so many discs with some of the um, programs. So we've used this from um, second grade all the way through um, eighth grade through their pre-algebra and they go all the way through our high school if you'd like. Um, and they also come with a ginormous textbook if you order that part of it. We don't use the textbooks very often, but they are good for reference. So that's for math, a little something. Um, for science, uh, masterbooks.com is a great resource for creation-based resources for your homeschool, whether it's science, history, um, I think they do a little bit of language arts and Bible and all that too. Um, a lot of um, collaboration with Answers in Genesis and some of those things might sound familiar to you. But what I like about Masterbooks is they put out what are called parent lesson planners. This is one for a class called Applied Engineering, Studies of God's Design and Nature, and they will take living books, real books. Um, this one is about different inventors. This one is about discovering design, seeing um, God's miraculous design in nature, and then this one, Made in Heaven, is about how scientists use the plans set out in nature in order to increase technology and inventions and innovations in um, their field. So the nice thing about the parent lesson planner is it gives you a you and your student a nice schedule of what to read when of those books and then there's also um, worksheets if you'd like to follow up with um, a little bit more um, overview of what they have read and then the quizzes and tests as needed and they can all be found in this and it's fairly inexpensive. So again that's masterbooks.com and they also have really great reviews on a lot of different curriculums. I encourage you to seek out their website. Um, we also like geography at our house, or I really like geography, and I think the kids do too, whether they really admit it or not. So one of the resources we used, especially in junior high, but this is a great multi-age resource, is called Trail Guide to World Geography, and this is from a company called Geo Matters, or Geography Matters, and um, they have different 
geography guides that will allow you to do just a daily geography drill, weekly map assignments, or you can dive in a little bit deeper and do a full-on geography course for your kids. Um, there's a teacher's manual you can print out from the CD-ROM, and then student notebooks that are geared towards the different grade levels. So th that's been a lot of fun. Their website is home-school-curriculum. Dot com And I'm going to jump over and check that because I feel like I mess it up. Home-school-curriculum.com. That's correct. And they also have a full-on um, trail guide to learning is a full open-and-go curriculum that concludes everything except math. If you like their um, the feel of their resources, that's a good, good program to try. All right, so that's one, two, three, four different resources. My fifth one to share with you today is called The Good and the Beautiful. They're relatively new on the homeschool scene, and I have been just very pleased with the resources I've bought from them. Uh, we switched both of my boys in third and seventh grade over to their language arts and literature program. It is an encompassing program that includes language arts, including spelling, writing, um, reading, with the literature um, also includes geography and picture study. They have a lot of, for the younger years, of free downloads. You can download the whole program for free, which is a great way to try it out. The reason I like to buy their printed info, though, or printed books, is they have full color artist reproductions in the book, and you learn about the artist and the place that they live, and it's all incorporated. It talks about, I think this artist is maybe from Austria, and you'll, nope, nope. That's not Austria. It might have been Germany. Anyway, um, learn all about him or her and their style of art, and that includes poetry, and it's just very rich and very well done, and it's also from a biblical worldview, non-denominational. Um, I've used their typing. This is still from The Good and the Beautiful, which is great because it is not um, video game based. A lot of programs that I've used in the past have been, and I would prefer just learning how to type, and it's been great. And my favorite is probably their history. This is book two. We did book one this year. And the thing, and the reason it's my favorite is because for years we've tried different histories, and I've I have always been searching for one that goes from creation to modern times during the year and just highlights different aspects as you go through the ages. And this one does just that with um, just enough extra stories, read-alouds, a little bit of activities without being overwhelming. And it can also be done just two or three times a week. And um, you don't have to stick and dive into, say, the Egyptian pyramids for 24 weeks, which, you know, there's only so much a mama can take of the Egyptian pyramids. So, um, history has been a great fun thing for our um, family this year. And The Good and the Beautiful can be found at JennyPhillips.com. That's Jenny with a Y, Phillips with two L's. And they have done an excellent job at that company. So, hopefully that gives you a little snapshot of some of the things that we've tried and enjoyed in our homeschool. Again, I encourage you to try different things to add a little depth, add a little spice to your curriculum and your teaching. And remember that you can do anything, but don't try to do everything. I hope you have a blessed day, and we'll see you next time. Thanks!